Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another First Look video. Today we're going to be checking out Regalia of Men of Monarchs, uh, which is a game that I would maybe like to do a full series on. I'm going to leave it up to you guys though. Uh, for now we're just going to go ahead and do sort of uh, an impressions video of the game and see how we feel about it. Uh, but I've seen quite a bit of it already and I do really enjoy the concept. Uh, it's essentially like a Western RPG meets a JRPG with turn-based combat and uh, a bit of a story to it. Um, it. It's pretty cool. I like the art style. So uh, we'll jump in and as always let me know what you guys think in the comments below or by hitting that like button. Uh, but as I said, if uh, the response or the, uh, the interest is there, I would be more than happy to turn this into a full Let's Play. Because uh, I think it definitely has potential. So um, let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go with normal, what, what, actually tell me the differences. Completing chapters easier, the objectives will be less taxing, battles can be optionally skipped, enemies deal less damage. Uh, I'd like the, see, I'd like the battles to be challenging, but I wouldn't mind the objectives being easier. I'll do normal. Our story begins in the Rashtil Expanse, where the wind races across empty plains. It is a sad, hostile land, a wild frontier and a gateway to lands unknown. In ages past, Rashtil had a heart, the city-state of Ascalia, ruled by the great house Loran. Indeed, over centuries, it came to be known as the gem in the realms, earning respect from all races under the sun. But the Crusades changed that. Attracting the ire of its neighbors, Ascalia was lost to the flames of war. With its marble bones laid to rest, the city has slept ever since, until now. In a distant country, a father lies on his deathbed. For his entire life, he has kept a secret. Yet now, the truth is finally revealed. His only son, Kay, learns that Ascalia belongs to his family, the noble house Lauren. As the sole remaining heir, it is his destiny to face that heritage, to restore the ancestral kingdom. Aided by his two sisters and a trusty bodyguard, young Kay sets out on a journey to the Rashtil Expanse, to Ascalia. The legend is about to be retold. Cool, so we've got like a King Arthur type thing happening here, it looks like. <clears throat> and can I skip this, or is there more story that's going to happen? And so, on a promise made on the father's dying breath, our hero arrives to fulfill his destiny. <laughs> oh, do I have to click? Yes, I do. Okay. My bad. Alright, he's walking pretty excitedly there. Oh, this is this isn't our character. Uh, okay. Wait, but that's not our hero. Yeah. All right. So apparently, he, Griffith's a little bit more excited about this than uh, our hero is here. This is our hero. I can't feel my legs. Steal yourself, young master. We're almost at the castle. All right. <laughs> This place is a mess. Not quite what I was expecting. Ah, but surely you aim to restore this place to glory, young master. You are, after all, its rightful ruler. Well... What a terrible, terrible dump. Glorious kingdom, my ass. Remind me, whose idea was it to come here again? Actually, I'm pretty sure both of you insisted. Come on, sis. Isn't this exciting? It's like we're heroes of a book on an adventure or something. <sighs> well, I suppose we may as well try to salvage something from this terrible misunderstanding of a trip. Uh, salvage? Onwards, minions. To the castle. Maybe there's something valuable left, at least. Minions? Okay, so we're in free roam mode now. I can kind of walk around wherever I like and check stuff out. 
Um, I can't see what that says. So we can go to the town, to the town. Uh, apparently those all go to the town. I'm more interested in the castle. Can I not go to the castle? Can I zoom out? Let's talk to our sister here. Maybe she can let us in or something. Gwen may complain, but she was very keen on coming here too, right? <laughs> It'll be okay, trust me. Good things are rarely easy. Uh, okay, well, I guess let's just go here. Alright, so this is apparently the town map, and it wants me to go to Castle Lauren. I don't know why I couldn't just do that from the square, but okay. To the castle. Not much of an improvement. Oh, don't remind me. Loot and scoot, boys. Well, at least she has her priorities straight. Look, young master. Such exquisite pieces of armor. <laughs> Aha! No, wait. Rat poop. I must say, the inhabitants must have had a remarkable grasp on... What's this big bro? Just some tea I found in a pot nearby. Tastes like dust and ashes, but, you know, it's still tea, right? Wait, what? You do realize that you just poured stuff from an urn, as in literal ashes? <laughs> oh, shit. Huh. I... what? Don't go what on me, son! You're the one who drank my ashes, so you know some manners, eh? Maybe an introduction? I... That a thing? You often wander into other fellows' households, slurping their debtors? Mm. This is Kay of House Lauren, heir apparent to this revered establishment. Ghost or no, respect is in order. Uh, but... Oh, so you're a Lauren, Sonny. Funny story. That would make me your grandfather. The Sidoralis of House Lauren, at your service. Though I imagine being dead limits my options. Is this real life? No, heir apparent, is it? Good for you. I thought you'd be taller and bulkier. And, you know, smarter. But ashy stuff? Big no no. Rocky start, my boy. Uh, look. Anyway, since I'm already here, might as well help you get right on track. Mm. Fetch me the customer. Oh, joy. I don't think there's one left around. Bullshit, son. We Laurens are proud folk. And this. this. Uh, uh. Oh, what the hell happened here? This place is a dump. At least he agrees, of all people. Seriously, what have you people done to the castle? Is it that bad? What about the village? This ain't right. This ain't right at all. Well, you're the heir. You'll be putting all of this back together? Well, indeed, noble spirit. As we live and breathe, we shall see to it that young master will bring... Uh, uh, hmm. Look, I'm sorry about the ashes. And I appreciate the offer... I really do. But we came here looking for a family estate, not ghosts and ruins. Nobody expected this. This is crazy. But you're the heir. Sorry, this just won't work out. But Mama's... Wait, where are you going? Kay. Kay. Wait, you lot! I ain't done with you! Oh, hey 
guys. What was that all about? I needed to collect my thoughts. Sure looked like a temper tantrum to me. It's just too much, you know? One day we're heirs to an ancient city. Then it turns out that there's nothing left standing and that the whole errand was pointless. And last but not least, there's a crazy ghost who wants us, me, to rebuild this place as if I'm some sort of king. You do know you kind of stepped into that one yourself. So what is your plan, young master? We're leaving this place. But... We're not heroes. We may be of House Lauren, but so what? This place is ancient history, nothing more. Did someone say House Lauren? Well met. With whom do I have the pleasure? How rude. To demand the name of another before introducing oneself. Very well. The lady has a point. Walter Crucy, I represent the Furtive Union. The Furtive Union? I take it you are not familiar with our organization, then. Speaking concisely, we are men of business. Sometimes we invest, sometimes we lend. But mostly, we reclaim goods deemed impossible to vindicate. So you're debt collectors? Correct, more or less. But that still leaves us in the dark over your identity. Or your rather puzzling presence in this godforsaken place. You were not supposed to be here. Well, I do not like your tone. This is Kay. Heir to House Lauren, inheritor of Ascalia, the rightful master of this city. If anyone remains the intruder, it is your entourage, Mr. Crucy. Is that true? You are the heir, young man? By the gods, Griffin. You would doubt our word? Interesting. That is an excellent turn of events. We shall kill two birds with one stone. Oh? Regretfully, I have to inform you that your holdings and possessions back home have been confiscated. What? What? How the hell? If you truly are Kay of House Lauren, then by virtue of law, you have also inherited the obligations placed upon this land. Monetary obligations. Obligations? In short, your ancestors have left you a rather staggering debt, my lord. Show me. What? How is that even possible? The zeros need a separate sticker to fit on paper. I am afraid that for all their prestige and renown, your grandsires appear to have been rather indulgent people, my lord. Shall we proceed with the execution? But... but I don't have that kind of money. That is unfortunate. Also ironic, given their wealth of history here. I can't believe it. All of this, the whole city, lost because of a debt? Why? It got destroyed during the Crusades. The debt, you see, is an older development. The Crusades? But enough angsting over history. Business first. Let me introduce you to my assistants. <coughs> Mr. Knight, what are you doing? You will not harm them. Please. We are civilized people. Punching, albeit enjoyable, would give us little benefit, at least for now. The truth remains, however, that you indeed seem unable to procure funds. Thus, I propose a deal. A deal? You are a king right now, young man, of sorts. Your title still has hold in brash till. People respect it, and respect is money. Seize what chance you have. Rebuild this city of yours. Revitalize it. Is this a trick? <laughs> Why would it be? Consider it an investment of trust on our part. And if I refuse? You seem to have misunderstood my position, my lord. It is not an if, not a but, not a maybe. Do it. Or payment shall be extracted through different means. 
considerably less pleasurable, if I may ask. <laughs> Big slow. I am a reasonable man. We shall split the debts into parts, each to be paid in regular intervals. Would that be acceptable? You're asking us to do the impossible. No, we are asking you to do the improbable. But this is a chance now. One surely worth taking. I urge you to act as soon as possible. Time is money, and you cannot afford to waste it, my lord. And this is our cue to leave. The accord has been reached. Nothing else remains to be said. Soon, I will contact you through mail. I bid you farewell. But this is insane! The deadline is approaching. Tick tock, tick tock. Are you all right, Big Bro? Give me a minute. Okay. Thoughts? Isn't it obvious? It's not like we have any other option. Yeah. Did... Did they really sell Dad's estate? That's evil! Does it change anything? Wasn't Master K planning to make his ancestors proud anyway? Well, technically... Uh, you know what? Never mind. No, go on. How do you feel about this? I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like this one bit. Aside from the debt thing, whoever or whatever should be doing spring cleaning here, it's not me. Not us. But then comes the debt thing. And we don't really have any choice anymore. I hate it. We must. Damn it. This is so depressing. Annoying, more like. What's the big deal? Can't hurt to try. And you have that alleged grandfather to help us run it. Oh, that's true. I had completely forgotten about him. I do not expect him to be happy about the debt. No, he won't be. But that's not going to be the worst part of the conversation. Ah, uh, oh well. To the castle, then. Off we go to beg and moan. Hey. And that's how it went. Hmm. Nasty buggers, them FUs. So it looks like you'll be needing my help after all, eh? Oh, <laughs> funny how it works. Yes, the irony is not lost on us. Just tell me what to do. Let me see. Hmm. A king ain't a king with no people to lord over, yeah? So that's the first thing. Get someone to move here. Any pair of hands would be a resource right now. Also, perhaps it'd be worth looking into that whole debt business, you know? What do you mean? That loan shark ain't exactly what I'd call the most trustworthy person around. What you got was scraps, and we need facts, writs, documents, the whole story, my boy. Call me a sentimental dead sod, but I can't imagine my kiddo ruining the kingdom over money. Crusy mentioned wars, crusades. There you go. Something worth looking into, hmm? Ah, and Sonny, you're not alone. Those sisters of yours, that stern-looking chap, you're all House Lord. Do not try to think everything through by yourself. You have four heads. Use them. And there's you. Oh, right. About that. I'm hopping in. Huh? Don't harm me, boy. Like it or not, technically, I'm inside you now. Ew. And this means our fates are tied for now. And believe me, you need me. Oh, yes. In other words, You'll be lugging me around wherever you go. Oh, gods. Oh, just kidding. But I appreciate the enthusiasm. My spirit is bound to these walls. Likely for good. Bloody shame, that. I would love to see how the world's changed over all these centuries. What was it like back then, Grandpa? Uh, probably nicer if you don't count the gnomes. I'll tell you some other time. Cool. The gnomes. But the gnomes are still around. Midgets, they don't play you faster than a gambler with a stacked deck. That's great. Irritating and bipolar, I see. Gwen? Now, I may be a racist old codger who has mixed feelings about them gnomes, but they know their stuff, and you do need their stuff. Which is? Surely you've heard. 
pretty much everything they touch turns to gold. And you need gold, you know? You're gonna need trade routes, and they're born tradesmen, sonny. If anyone can help you make the coin flow again, it's them. As much as it cramps my spectral butt to say so. I see. Right. Time to get to work. Oh, one more thing. Before you do anything, Sonny, have you, uh, taken a good look around? The castle's a mess. Unless you want to be king for dust, Mike, I'd suggest the four of you grab a mop and declutter it. No way in hell I'm going to clean. I, uh, I'm allergic to dust. Gee, thanks, guys. All right, here we go. So I finally get to play. Uh, I, I'm enjoying the story so far, and there's nice little jokes layered in there. Uh, so I think this will be a fun story to sort of play through and resolve. Uh, so what exactly will we be cleaning? I think we're going to get an introduction to combat here. Uh, oh, you know, simple things. Spider webs, rubble, dust mites, and giant rats, apparently. Whoa. By the gods, this one's huge and ugly. Perhaps it's the broodmother of those things. I wonder if it flies. I hope it doesn't. It's got extra appendages there. Actually, they all do, but I don't see any wings. Are we really talking about this right now? Just hit it. Hit it. Alright, so defeat all the enemies. That's pretty straightforward. It's going to be two on four from the looks of it. So, uh, let's see. We're doing deployment right now. So let's put you... I don't know. Here, I guess. And I imagine he's going to be a little bit tankier than our our main character here, so that'll be my deployment, I suppose. Let's go. All right. So during their activation, each combatant can both move and perform an action in any order. Uh, combatants can move multiple times during an activation, as long as they have movement points remaining. However, combatants can perform only one action per activation. This can mean either using a skill or an item. When you're done, end their activation by pressing space. Okay. And here's our actions. Uh, blah, blah, blah. There's tooltips. Okay. Understood. So, I can, like, move, fire my... I think he's got, like, a little pistol there. Yeah, he's got, like, a flintlock pistol in his hand. Um, so I can move, shoot, move, or move and shoot, or shoot and move in any order I want. Um... I'm going to move him up to here. I don't think... Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think they're quite in range yet. So, what else can I do? Command. I'm going to throw a command on uh, Griffith, who's going to be my tanky character, because that will give him, I think, additional shields. And what does this do? Blitz. Uh, I'm not going to blitz yet. I think I'll use that next turn. So, they're going to... Apparently hop forward toward me. I actually should have put him down here or something because he's blocking Griffith's uh, avenue of approach now, unfortunately. Let us strike. Uh, he can't quite get there. That's unfortunate. Um, do you have anything with a bit of range? Apparently not. Hmm. And he doesn't have blitz, so move up to here. Dynamic entry. So can I use that to get... Oh, it's got to be straight on. That sucks. Well... Let's taunt this guy then so he attacks Griffith and not K. He's also blinded, which will help. And... Oh, I can... Okay, I can blitz now. Um, I don't see anything that's going to benefit me here because it's an action, not a move. So let's let's just move forward. Oh, dust cannon. Okay. Yikes. All right. Well, um, what do we want to do here? Yeah, yeah. I get it. Hmm. I can shoot something with my pistol. So let's do that. Ah, oh, we missed. Great. Oh, for the love of... Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Uh, let's see... Hmm... I'm gonna use a blitz here and give it to... Oh wait, I can't pull myself together? 
Do another command then and throw it on him. That was probably a waste, but... Oh, nice. Okay. Ah, uh, I was afraid of that. I'm trying to get Griffith in there to tank everything, but... Because his... Apparently his initiative is really bad or something. Okay, good. I just need to stop letting uh, K take so many hits. Let us strike. So what can you do? Crescent Strike. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's Friendly Fire, so I don't want to do that. Let's see. I guess just do a Pinpoint Strike. Alright, so two of those will kill those guys. Uh, I'm going to Blitz then and go for a kill. Good job. And then I think I'm going to move you there. So that hopefully they'll both focus on you instead. Um, so I'm out of authority points, meaning I can't blitz anymore. What are you going to do, another dust cannon at K? Uh, I think he hit his own guys on that one. At your side. All right. Sure, whatever. Okay, so if I do a Crescent Strike now, I think um, K's out of the way. Oh, maybe not. There we go. Okay, so I hit both of them for a good little chunk of damage. Um, I have an authority point, so I might... Uh, actually, it's not going to help me. At least not here. Um, I'll use it and do another pinpoint strike on this guy. And then I'm hoping that Kay can uh, finish him off on his turn. What's your, like, basic attack? Do you have one? Rend, probably? Go ahead and rend him. Oh, you you oh, suck, man. Of... Yeah, exactly. That's so like his third, second or third miss now. Luckily, uh, Griffith's got plenty of shields to sit there and tank damage. Uh, maybe not anymore. I'm, gonna, I'm probably just going to have him continually buff Griffith because he seems to be useless in combat. Oh, okay, so that Dust Cannon is actually buffing these guys while it does damage to me. Let's, um, let's give him back his shields. No line of sight, really? I can't do it on a diagonal? That seems kind of ridiculous. Um, shoot something then. No line of sight there either. Can you kill this thing, please? Put your guns on. There we go. So at least you did something right there. And then I need to move you to here so that you have a line of sight. And I guess I'll use that to throw a buff on Griffith. Which should keep him from losing HP for a little while longer. That guy's going to get an attack. Probably not going to do... Oh, wow. Apparently he does a lot of shield damage with that. Go ahead and do a uh, pinpoint attack no. there. Not bad. And I think that'll be your turn. Probably going to get another dust cannon here. Yep, sure enough. Uh, wow. Okay. Apparently K's taking a bit of damage. I need to spread them out. For great justice! Go ahead and uh, pinpoint strike him. Good job. And then move on up to... How does dynamic entry work? Hmm. Per each tile move through. So if I move you like here, use my point to dynamic entry to there. 202 and oh we killed him in one shot nice okay I'll take it what is this place an armory well well I think you should look at this sire 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 <laughs> what that uh, okay come but what did you find wait a sketch of House Lauren's family tree? That's exactly what we need! Oh, 
But it's incomplete. Damaged. It's a start, no? Oh, what do you mean? Look at it as one looks at a foundation. With this, you get a tangible base to build upon. Questions to answer. People to look for. Names to check. A direction, so to speak. Which is exactly what we need right now. I am sure that eventually, we will be able to fill the blanks ourselves. Uh, you're right. Let's show this to the girls, Griffith. Agreed. And as unenthusiastic as they were, let us hope they have cleaned up the main hall. I'm sure Grandfather would nag them to death otherwise. Oh, by the way, before we go... This seems out of place. Indeed. It does not resemble any of the other armors around the castle. Thoughts? It seems Lord Amarian in origin. Some symbols everywhere. Plenty of ornamentations, highly impractical, perhaps used for ceremonial reasons. In all honesty, it is hard to tell sometimes. Lordemar's knights like it's gaudy. Lordemar? The kingdom of Lordemar to the east? Militant sun worshippers? The very same, yes. Why would a Lordemarian armor be locked in here? We're in Rashtil. That's far, far away. A gift from a king, perhaps. Hmm, could be. Uh, think we should do something with it? If it doesn't involve Lady Gwen pawning it off for money, then yes. I was thinking more along the lines of main hall decoration, moving it somewhere more presentable. I do not see why not. All right, hop to it. Sometimes I think you and your sisters are more alike than you imagine, young master. Hey, you're back. How did it go? To be honest, we didn't really clean much, but we found this. What's that? Looks like a family tree. Our family tree, I assume. Yeah. You know, this may actually be useful. We're going to need stuff like this if we want to get to the bottom of this debt business. Our thoughts exactly. Oh, but it's more than that. <laughs> you can't be narrow-minded in this, boy. It's not just about who borrowed what, you know? If you want to be a king, you need legitimacy. And that means history, lineage, solid facts, everything that constitutes rulership. You may frown upon this, Sonny, but there are folks who buy into this more than they buy into money. It's a chunk of knowledge that will help you in the long run. I agree. If we are to be nobility, we need the bearings of nobility. And if it helps us on more than one front, all the better. What's wrong with the one on the wall right here? Just, just, just wondering. I can't be running around dusting off chronicles. There are things to do right here, right now. You're not alone in this, big bro. Remember? Let me handle the... Mm, boring ancestry stuff. I'll be digging into documents and family affairs while you do your thing. Which I assume will involve whacking uglies. What about me? What about you? I want to help too! How about no? I think that's an excellent idea. I'd appreciate it if you two would work on this together. Are you serious? You heard him? <laughs> oh, come on, sis! Why the long face? It's going to be fun! Ah, also, I bet your duties will take you all over Rash Till, Sonny. Methinks you should also ask the nice ladies over here to look after the city while you're away. All in all, you're in this together, hmm? As a family. So are you, old fart. Ho oh, ho ho, but I'm dead already. Can I trust you with this, then? Leave it to us. What about you, Griffith? You know my answer. I swore an oath on your father's dying breath that I would not leave your side. I shall follow you in the field, should you call me to do so. Very well. What's our next step? I may have a thing, Kay. While you guys were gone, I took a sightseeing trip around the city. Turns out there are still some people living in the area. Really? Yep. There's an inn near the crossroads, not far away from the gates. I saw light coming from inside, so they're most likely still in business. Here, big bro. I'll show you on the map. Ho oh, ho ho! That's excellent news! If anything, you should go and introduce yourself. You're going to be their ruler. Uh, mingling with peasants. What exactly will this accomplish? Now, now, young lady. A king is nothing without his subjects. Any fool may claim a pile of rubble, but without people, you're just an empty title. Or a tyrant. No, my boy. One cannot rule in a vacuum need to be a person, their person, not just a face on the throne. You may obtain riches and inherit lands, but in the end, 
true help lies in the hearts and minds of your people. You are only as powerful as the respect you command. Never forget this. Respect of my people. Ah, at last. The Patriarch speaks my language. Duty, service, loyalty. We shall forge bonds everlasting. This, I swear. Uh, yeah. What he said. All right, I'm off to the inn. Griffith? At your side. Let's go then. Okay, so I finally am in control once again. Um, so we're actually way over on time. I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, but so far I'm enjoying the game. Hopefully you guys are as well. Uh, I find the story to be very interesting and compelling. Um, I'm hoping that we get to do a lot of, you know, like, rebuilding of the castle and, you know, building up this kingdom. It looks like there's, like, damaged things here that might be able to be rebuilt and then, you know, they'll have uh, waypoint nodes on them that we can travel to as well. Uh, the voice acting, I think, is fantastic. Uh, I really, again, like the art style. Um, uh, yeah, no complaints so far, other than I haven't really gotten to play so much as just kind of sit through the story. But I think, uh, and from what I've seen of other, you know, Let's Plays of this game, um, that's only in this initial part. And then every once in a while as the story advances. But uh, we'll get to the open-ended part of the game uh, fairly soon here, I imagine. So... Again, if you want to see a part two or even more to this uh, video, uh, let me know in the comments below and we can maybe do a full Let's Play of this or at least a couple more episodes. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. I had a great time playing some Regalia with you and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for maybe another video.